Ghana South Africa, Arsenal won, Brighton won. And I'm here with Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson, I draw the Emirates. Not the results we all wanted today, but at least we got a point. Your take on the game. Um, it was it was not a bad game from the beginning. We got chances. We created chances. We played a very good game from the beginning. Um, apart from the fact that we had uh, external forces fighting against us, we tried. It was it was a good game. We missed chances that we should have buried in the first half to just to stop this result from happening. If we had gotten two goals in that first half, we we had chances to bury this game in the first half. We have buried this game and it would not have ended like this. Even in the midst of this, the external forces that I mentioned, I don't, I don't need to even say it. I don't need to say it. The officiating in EPL is, is horrible. Honestly, it's very, very horrible. You, There's nothing like home advantage anymore. When I was watching football growing up, you're playing at home. There is, there is a way that you would know, even without looking at your jersey, that these people are playing at home, sometimes with the officiating. I'm not saying everybody that is at home should be given a, 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 a free will to make all the fouls, commit all the fouls and, and get away with it. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But if there is any form of bias in officiating, it should be towards, it should be in favor of the people that are home. How can I be home and you're blowing against me? Consistently in a football game, it's wrong now. It is wrong. No, I'm not even talking about the red card, though. I'm not even talking about because that red card declaration should have should have left that place. You're on yellow. Anything you do, in fact, you, you, you don't need to be. You don't need to be in the match. You don't need to be in the game. You don't even need to be in the stadium to see what was happening. Even watching the game from here, we could tell that the referee was, the referee was 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 making some very terrible decisions. Declaration knew this. He would have just walked away from that ball. He got that red card. He deserved to get that red card. For me, he deserved. People can say he was soft. Uh, the, 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 the player provoked him. You are supposed to be provoked. You have a yellow card for crying out loud. Who else are, are they going to provoke? Is it Kayaba that is, that is not on yellow? Abi Odegaard. Abi, Abi uh, Saliba. It's you now. And he fell for it. That's, not, that's not, not, not what I'm even talking about. The first half. What sort of officiating is this? We've, we've, we've drawn and uh, the third game of the season. What can we say? So you, you said Declarais deserves the red card. The question is, was that supposed to be a red card? Was the card supposed to be given at that instance? Um, in all fairness, no. The card was not supposed to be given. Some more experienced refs that had better control of the game would have probably just called the two players and talk to them it was still early it was still early to even be giving out second yellow and giving out red card for it was not even a tackle it was no challenge it was not as if you were even spoken with uh, the linesman there now what is how, how will you just step up and give a yellow card and give a second i mean give a red card just like that for me that was not supposed to be a red card never a red card for me but the client put himself in that position. Like I said, he would have walked away from that place. You can say he was walking away, then they, they run from that place. That's where discipline comes in. Discipline. discipline comes in. Focus. Run away from that place. Run away from that place. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why he had to. He had to be there. I don't know why he had to. It's 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 a red card. It's a red card. They've given him. They've given him the red card. Um. I feel if we appeal, they should be able to allow him to play the Tottenham game because never a red card, like I said. But they gave it to him. The ref gave it to him. So it's a red card. And we move on. So um, um, after the red card, we actually sat back. And, um, you know, people were not happy about that. You don't sit back at home like that. Even if you have a red card. So um, what do you think we would have done? Or what do you think the manager should have done differently after the red card? Um, I feel sitting back, looking at the texture of this game, the opposition that we are playing against, the players we had on the bench was the best option for us. You want to come out and play Brighton. You need to have a midfielder that will be able to mark 
The only one you had in your team, if they've given a red card, who are you going to bring into that midfield? Who, if you want to come out and run, you are one man down. Abi, we don't have bench. When you want to look at Teta, we, we released Eleni. We released, we, we, we sold Smith Rowe. We loaned yeah. Vieira. Three midfielders. One, we signed one. And even now we have to beg. It was as if we are begging for him to sign a player. Okay, you lose three midfielders. The, the squad was too filled with players that could not come in and make impact. Okay, you lost three midfielders. Why not just get two that would make impact? He signed one that could not even stay fit to play this game. So when you say we should come out and play, come out and play, the major part of playing, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a footballer. I, all of us play football and I, one of my favorite things in football is to mark. I love marking. You need to have players that love marking. You cannot just bring somebody that cannot mark when we have a red card and you expect us to just start going on the front foot. Brighton had belly by there. A DM that could run around and who are we going to run around in the midfield with? Is it Jojiwa and Party? Abi Waneri? No, now. The, what we did is what we would have done. It's what we should have done. Maybe sitting back and they would have brought in Martinelli earlier. For me, bringing Martinelli early, bringing Giorgio, bringing Giorgio, let him just stay with Pate there in the midfield so that when the ball comes out of the defense, we can play it out and he can pick a pass. Exactly. He can pick a pass. Martinelli can make those runs. He can pick maybe one of those passes could end up in Martinelli's hand and it would be a goal. But Ateta had other ideas. He looked at his bench and he could tell that he did not have... See, eh? You cannot have a team that has just one player in the midfield that can do one thing. When you take off, take off that midfield, that no other person can, can do that thing. The only hard worker we have in that midfield is Declan Rice. One hard worker. Just one. We can, okay, uh, Man City have uh, Rodri. It's only Rodri that is there in their defense. They have Kovacic. Kovacic is a hard worker that can play central midfield and give you good performances, that can run around, that has the energy to run. Can, can even run with the ball. Can even run with the ball. The only person we have there is Declan Rice. And Ateta is going to see why he did not sign those players that he was supposed to sign in the midfield. People are shouting, eh, we did not sign striker. We would have gone and signed. Okay, should be in this match. After they, they gave Declan Rice a red card. Your 100 million striker, probably Oshimen or Guy Kores, would have been the person to replace Declan Rice in the midfield. Abi? No, now. We see her chances. We see her chances. That, okay, okay, you can say if we had a better striker, we would have buried those chances. Eh, no wahala. But those chances that we had, any other person would have scored them. It could have fallen to Saka's hands and he would have scored that goal. Martinelli would have scored that, even Trossard. How about a different, they would have scored that goal. In the midfield that they walked, that we needed to walk, there was nobody. Nobody. We looked at the bench, nobody. And the coach is sitting down there. He has taught him to play after international break. I want to see that midfield, that, that pairing. I don't even, they should not even, the transfer window has ended. They should not even uh, be uh, considered Declaracy's red card. Leave him, let him play with Pate and Joju against Bissoma and Sa and Madison. I play with win that match because I'm, a, I'm an Arsenal fan. And I, I always hope for the... I don't, I, I'm not saying since it has happened like this, Tottenham should just finish us. I can, I can never say that. But the truth is, we, we needed work in that mid midfield in the transfer. And our coach could not see it. The midfielder, for that matter, when he was playing, he could not see it. He was blind to it. He, 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 he thinks Merino is going to just play. Merino will come and just everything will just be okay. Merino is out for six weeks. The clients has a red card. We are playing Tottenham. Our only midfield options, only midfield options, both defensive midfield, central midfield, is Jojo and Pate. Jojo and Pate. We are going to play Tottenham with Jojo and Pate. So I thought I will watch football and see. Because that is what he wants. We are crying for striker. Let us play midfield Jojo and Pate against Tottenham and see how it's going to end. Mm -hmm.